Indians are calling for the return of the Kuinur, while Africans want back the great star of Africa. As Queen Elizabeth II was laid to rest on Monday in an elaborate funeral that reportedly cost upwards of £9 million, social media users began to amplify a call for the British crown to be stripped of what they deemed to be the empire's stolen jewels. The Kuinur is one of over 2,000 precious stones adorning the crown of the British monarch, now King Charles III. It is considered the most expensive diamond in the world, and for years its ownership has been in dispute, with some expressing doubt that the jewel rightfully belongs to the House of Windsor. Over the centuries, wars have been fought over the diamond, which became fodder for a British legend that the stone would bring bad luck to any who possesses it. Indians argue that the massive jewel was mined from the Andhra Pradesh region of the country. The diamond's history is said to have brought it into the possession of Mughal Islamic emperors, Sikh Maharajas, and emirs of Afghanistan before it came into the hands of Ranjit Singh, the Maharaja of the Punjab region. In 1839, Ranjit died, and in 1943, his youngest son, Duleep, was placed on the seat of power at the age of five. In 1949, the British, under Queen Victoria at the time, colonized the region. The Kuinur, it is said, was part of a tribute offered to the British by the young Maharaja in hopes that they would not visit colonial violence on his people. While some Indians maintain that the diamond was stolen from the child Maharaja, the British have always contended that it was legitimately surrendered. Indians first officially asked for the Kuinur's return 22 years ago, with several Indian politicians writing a letter to the UK. It is unclear what the British response was then, but in 2013, during a visit to India, then-British Prime Minister David Cameron flatly refused to consider the prospect of giving back the diamond extracted from India under the auspices of brutal colonial repression, saying he did not think the idea was, quote, sensible. Cameron went on to say, quote, if you say yes to one, you suddenly find the British Museum would be empty. Some historians would argue that that is exactly the point of returning all the items looted by British imperialists over the centuries. Although Pakistan, Iran, and Afghanistan all claim the Kuinur and wish, it, wish for it to be returned to them, the royal family acknowledges that it may have originated from India and was traded to them. South Africans have also joined the movement to have their own famed diamond, named the Great Star of Africa, or Cullinan, returned. Considered the world's largest clear-cut diamond, the 500-carat jewel is said to be worth over $400 million. The diamond was reportedly mined in South Africa in 1905 and handed over to the British by colonial authorities. Now it currently adorns the royal, the royal scepter, which, along with the monarch's crown in which the Kuinur is set, represents the main symbols of British state power. South Africans allege the British illegit illegitimately acquired the jewel, and petitions exist for the return of both diamonds, having amassed over 6,000 signatures each. Whether King Charles III will reverse his family's long history of ignoring calls for reparative justice for former British colonies remains to be seen.